Monastery Mentor was the sh** back in the day, but more recently, the monk has fallen on hard times. So today, I've set out on a mission to make Monastery Mentor great again in modern. That's right, Mentor is a three mana creature that poops out monks that grow larger with every spell you cast. But believe this, I have no intention of paying three mana for the monk pooper. Nope, today we're paying one black mana to get Mentor in play, which we're facilitating with DRC, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, and Dark Blast. And once Mentor is in play, Dreadhorde Arcanist and Underworld Breach are the facilitators to get things going. So if you're ready to see Mentor shit on its opponents like it's 2016, grab your TP and let's get to it. Today marks the return of Monastery Mentor and Mardu. Let's get after it. We're on the draw. Fortunately, can't keep the seven. Neither can our opponent. Six card hand. Not ideal, but I think this is a keep. The bottom of breach. Opponent keeps their six. Scalding Tarn, fetch from our opponent. D invents into a DRC. Appears we're playing the same game here. All right, we drew into Attack Anuma, not bad. We're gonna fetch. Let's get ourselves a Sacred Foundry to start. Play out our Channeler into a Bobble. Surveil one. Thoughtseize, I actually like Thoughtseize. For the sake of Delirium, put that into our graveyard. Another Bobble, another Trigger. I'll put the Arcanist into the graveyard as well, so we'll have Delirium here. We'll pass the turn during our opponent's upkeep. Let's look at their top card, Suppressive Iteration. That's a good one. Opponent with a Spire Bluff, no attack. And let's look at their top card and they have a bobble on top. Back to our turn, there's gonna be two bobble triggers. We'll draw two, Blood Crypt, and a Mentor. We draw into a Ragavan. Start with an attack for three, when it takes it. Uh, they are representing Counterspell, but I think we're okay with that. We're gonna fire off this Unholy Heat. Trigger Surveil, Thoughtseize on top. I think I actually like that. We'll put that on top. Okay, their Dragon's Rage is gone. We'll play out a Blood Crypt, shock that in, play out a Ragavan, pass the turn. We draw into this bobble. We know about an iteration. We start with the iteration. Reveal a bobble. So they have two bobbles in hand. They fetch into a blood crypt. Play out another dragon's rage. Bobble. Ragavan to the graveyard. So they're going to have four card types. Second bobble. Look at our top card, which is a thought seize. Okay. Start with an attack for three. See if they want to trade here. Okay. And they do take that trade. All right. We're going to play out this Takanuma. And I'm going to play out this mentor right now. Opponent looks at my top card. I think they need an answer to that one. They untap, draw a card off their bobble. Draw for turn. Two mana iteration. They're searching. Found a polluted delta. Play that out. Fetch. Preordain. They're still looking. They put two on top. And they heat down our Ragavan. Oh my gosh. They are in for a world of hurt here. I think we just have lethal. Let's play out our breach. It's going to be triggers. Oh, and they force us. Uh, that's unfortunate. I definitely was not anticipating Force of Negation, and for that reason, I did not lean on Thoughtseize. Not only that, but I didn't anticipate actually needing to cast the Thoughtseize at all, and got maximum punished, unable to cast the discard spell after the breach was countered. My opponent proceeded to snap bolt my mentor, which was okay because I had a Dreadhorde Arcanist to recover. That is, until they top deck Flame of Anor, killed the Dreadhorde, drew into Bowmaster and Counterspell, and it was all over from there. I learned from my sloppy play and cleaned things up in games 2 and 3. Vilar Gigantha. Uh, I like this 7. We'll keep it. Start with a basic mountain into a Dragon's Rage. Opponent leads with a bobble. Looks at their top card. Pluto Delta. Draw a card off their bobble. We draw into a Thought Seize. Start with an attack for 1. And it's contemplating. Okay, they take it. We'll shock in this Godless Shrine. We're going to fire off a Thought Seize. We want to land on top. We'll keep that. <laughs> Our opponent has four lightning bolts in hand. That is crazy. Uh, we don't really care about this Bowmaster. Suppose we'll take the Engineered Explosives. Fetch from our opponent. Blood Crypt. Tapped. Spire Bluff Canal. Orcish Bowmasters. Pings down our Dragon's Rage. Back our way. We're going to shock this Blood Crypt. And we'll play out our Fable. Trigger. Goblin Shaman. Back the other way. Most of my creatures generate card advantage, so baiting out these bolts on my Bowmaster and Fable is a win for me that will gradually put me ahead on cards. Lightning Bolt targeting the Reflection. They only have one bolt left. Spell Bomb to the Graveyard. Okay, back our way. I think we're going to hold off on this Dark Blast one more turn. We draw into a Heat, which is pretty good. I think we're going to get this Mentor out. We'll Thought Seize them. It's going to trigger. Iteration, Lightning Bolt, Flame of Anor, Counter Spell. I think we're going to get rid of this Bolt. Make them find an answer with the Iteration. Let's heat down the Dragon's Rage. Make some more tokens. No attacks, pass the turn. All right, iteration coming. 
opponent with a bobble plays out the bobble, looks at our top card, no attacks. Draw a card off their bobble. We're gonna dredge our Dark Blast. Stark Blast the Orc Army. Triggers. Feels good. I miss doing this. Move to combat. Swing with the team. Opponent's down 10. Okay, they find their third land, which means Flame of Anor is live. Okay, let's draw for turn. We draw into a Dragon's Rage. Move to combat, swing with the team. Opponent finds a Bowmaster. Hit one of our monks. Block the other two monks. They're gonna take three. Cast our Gigantha. Let's pass it back. Steam ends tapped. We know two of their four cards. There's a Snapcaster Mage. Imagine it's going to find a Lightning Bolt, but this is still going to be lethal. They scoop it up. Moving on to game three, I actually feel fairly confident as most of my cards seem to line up well against my opponent's game plan, especially the inclusion of a one of Dark Blast, which repetitively fuels my mentor army and kills just about every creature in their deck. Watch this game to see what I mean. Uh, we'll play out our Bloodstained Mire, we'll fetch. Let's get this basic swamp. Dark Blast down the Bowmaster. Opponent draws for turn, plays out a land, plays out a channeler. They will have four card types. They attack for one, back our way. I'm going to dredge this Dark Blast. Shock out a Sacred Foundry. Dark Blast down the channeler. We'll pass it back. Opponent with a Preordain, respond with the Bowmaster. It's going to get heated down, but that's okay. Hit the Orc Army. There's the heat. Opponent with two cards on top. Play land, pass it back our way. We're not going to dredge. Drawn to a Channeler, that's pretty good. Start with an attack for one, shock out a land, play out our Channeler, into our Fable. It's gonna trigger the Channeler. We've got another one on top. I think we like that. We'll leave it on top. Pass the turn. Opponent fetches, end of turn. Steam Vents tapped. One mana, Channeler, it's a 3-3. Untap. I actually think I'm gonna dredge this Dark Blast. I like both the cards in my hand, we're not gonna discard. Move to combat. We'll attack with the Goblin Shaman and the Dragon's Rage. I probably I should have attacked with the Orc Army, that was a mistake. Dragon's Rage blocks, Dark Blast it. Uh, Lightning Bolt on top, we'll keep it on top. I'm gonna hold this Bowmaster and we'll just pass turn. Opponent untaps, fifth land, we know about the Breach, that's what's coming out. Lay out a Channeler, and in iteration, we will be able to kill their Channeler. They put a Breach to the Graveyard, Bobble enters the revealed card zone. Before they have the opportunity to surveil, I'm going to flash in this Bowmaster, and we're going to kill the Channeler. Breach is done. I'm not going to dredge, draw, Fable flips, Kraken for six. After repetitively decimating their army with Dark Blast, an uncontested attack from our squad puts them to six life, which, after an additional attack from our orcs and a fetch on their part, put them into range of a red instant that deals three damage. Too much value for them to handle, we're 1-0 and, oh and about to face off against the best deck in the format. Let's see how our deck Handles Grief and Fury. Start with the Blood Crypt. Tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent with Black Leaf Cliffs. Nothing else. Drawn to a Thought Seize. Let's play our Black Leaf Cliff into our Arcanist and pass the turn. Pluted Delta from our opponent. There's a Fury. This is kind of what I was worried about. Stack their triggers wrong, but that's okay. And Dying Malice. And our Arcanist dies twice. All right, we draw into a Dragon's Rage. Not terrible. Let's start by playing that out. We'll play out our Takanuma. We're going to Thought Seize. We'll get a trigger. We see an Unearth. Let's put that in the graveyard. All right, we see another Fury, a Ragavan, and an Undying Malice. We are definitely getting rid of this other Fury. We're going to cast Unearth, get our Dread Horde back. We have a Bowmaster on top. Uh, I think I like that. We'll keep that on top. All right, Dread Horde's back. Opponent fetches, end of turn. Blood Crypt, tapped. Land we knew about. Attack from our opponent. I think it's the right move. Let's preserve our life total here. Okay, Dragon's Rage down. No Ragavan, fairly surprising. Uh, we know what we're drawing, Bowmasters. Move to combat, swing for one, trigger, unearth, cast the unearth, return the dragon's rage. It's a combo. Opponent takes one. Not the fastest clock. They untap, blue to delta, dash in a ragavan. Opponent's moving to combat, they swing, flash in a bowmaster, bowmaster down the ragavan, and they just let that happen. And I think we're just gonna block with the bowmaster here because we can unearth it again. Bowmaster down. Opponent with an undying malice and unknown in hand. Untap. All right, that was what we wanted. Fetch land, jock in a sacred foundry, play out a mentor, move to combat, attack with the team, trigger arcanist, cast an unearth, we're humming here, unearth the bowmaster. It's gonna trigger mentor, it's gonna trigger the dragon's rage. Get a monk, we have another bowmaster on top. I think we're gonna put that one into the graveyard, we want non creatures at this point. Bowmaster into play, we'll ping them, opponents down to 17. These turns showcase the value engine this deck is built around with both a mentor and a dreadhorde arcanist in play. Unfortunately, a Takanuma from my opponent returning a Fury from Graveyard to hand 
and all of our hard work goes out the window. All right, Fury, Exile, Ragvan, we know about the Undying Malice in hand, so this is going to just about wipe our board. It's amazing we can be so far ahead and still pretty much lose. Mentor and Orc Army, those two are down. Fury's back, Arcanist and Dragon's Rage. Opponent attacks for eight, uh, we'll jump block. Uh, we'll fetch end of turn. We'll get the Godless Shrine tapped, untapped. All right, we're gonna do a second breach, not really what we're looking for. Play out Gigantha, and we're gonna pass turn. After breaching back my mentor, making two monks on jump blocking duty, and then drawing into a second mentor and a fable, I started to restabilize the board. But then, my opponent decided they had had enough and disappeared, never to be seen again. An anticlimactic finish to an epic back and forth battle. They time out and we're 2 0. All right, kicking off round three, we are 2 0. Gigantha has been revealed. Opponent shows us a Kahira. Kahira versus Gigantha. Tale as old as time. Opening seven, this looks great, we'll keep it. Opponents on the play. They lead on a Misty Rainforest, back our way. Draw another land, not really what we're looking for here. Lead on our Black Leaf Cliffs into a Ragavan. And I'm actually going to save my Bobble for one more turn. Actually, no, I'm not. Let's play that out now. When it fetches, Triome. Let's look at their top card. They reveal a Time Warp. Draw a card off our Bobble, draw into a Breach, not bad. Basic Island, so no Ren and Six this turn. Back our way. We draw into an Arcanist. No targets right now, so I think what we're going to start with is just an attack with this Ragavan. Crack in for two. Monkey connects. We reveal a Solitude. Uh, unfortunately, can't use that one. Play out a land, and I think we're going to get this Fable down. Get a basic Swamp. Play out our Fable. Okay, our opponent's playing Counter Magic. Good to know about. Back the other way. So this is looking like blue-white control. There's a Breeding Pool. Tapped. Back to us. Drawn in Holy Heat. Let's start with an attack for two. Connects again. Another Solitude, getting rid of all their wing conditions slash uh, creatures. We'll play out a Godless Shrine, tapped, and we'll pass turn. All right, opponent hits their fourth land, they fetch. See if this is going to be a verdict here. Basic Plains, and they have a one ring. Uh, we're going to respond to that. We'll flash in a Bowmaster. We'll ping them for one. Ring triggers, protection, they draw a card. Uh, we'll ping our Orc Army back our way. While we don't have great answers to a resolved ring, Bowmasters, Ragavan, Dragon's Rage Channeler, and Lightning Bolt can pressure their life total quickly, which limits the ring's effectiveness and forces them into uncomfortable predicaments. Three mana to Fairy. I don't think they played a land for turn yet, but I'm going to fire off this Lightning Bolt. Opponent's down to three life. Minus, put ring back to hand. Bolt down my Arcanist. Land for turn. Tapped. Back our way. We draw into a Ragavan. I'm going to start there. I'm going to dash it out. See if they counter this. Okay, and they do. That's what we wanted. We'll play out our Takanuma. Play out our Breach, and we're going to bolt them. We're up a game. Okay, I really like the 7. We'll keep it. Opponent's on a 5-card hand. And while they mulligan to 5, their deck's ability to recoup card advantage is unprecedented, with Up the Beanstalk and the One Ring quickly able to generate massive swings that make a harsh mulligan inconsequential. Let's look what they're drawing. They're drawing now drawing a Ren and 6. Got it. Draw off our Bobble. Draw for turn. Okay, we'll play out our Bloodstained Mire. Fetch. Get ourselves a basic Swamp. I think we're just going to attack for one. I'm going to bait my opponent into trying to run in six down this Dragon's Rage. We're representing a Bowmaster, which we do have, but I want to keep this Dragon's Rage alive. Second Beanstalk, okay. Card Advantage Train is online. We'll fire off a Bowmaster. Ping them for one. Beanstalk Triggers, ping them for another one. Play out a land, tapped, back our way. All right, we draw into another land. Start by playing that out. Move to combat, we'll swing with the team. They're down to 12 life. Two mana, my opponent plays a Chalice on one. Uh, sure. Play a Breeding Pool, tapped. End of turn, let's flash in another Bowmaster. We'll hit them, down to 11. Fetch end of turn, let's get a Sacred Foundry, tapped. Untap, Bloodstained Mire. I'm concerned about over committing into a board wipe, so I think what I'm gonna do is play out this Ragavan into the Chalice, let it get countered. We'll be fourth card type, play out a land, move to combat, we'll swing for eight. Opponent's down to three life. We'll fetch. We get a basic. Put Gigantha to hand. Pass the turn. Okay, there's the board wipe. We were anticipating that. Best draw here is probably a Blood Moon, not a Godless Shrine. Uh, we'll just play that out. Play out our Gigantha. Pass the turn. We know they have a Ren and Six in hand. Temple Garden. They go down to one life. Wow. Five for Time Warp. They're going to draw three. Well, they'll draw two off the Beanstalks, and then draw one for turn. Untap. Five cards in hand. And we're three and oh. As you have seen, this deck has put up a very strong showing up to this point, but our league had a very disappointing conclusion with back-to-back -back losses 
First against Burn, where a Game 3 mulligan yielded only one land and little chance of surviving, the fiery barrage the red mate pointed in our direction. And lastly, more mulligans against Tron and the inability to find any of our blood moons left us with little chance of defeating multiple worm coil engines, Karns, and Sundering Titans. But despite our defeats, this league felt like a success, and Monastery Mentor definitely got its opportunity to shine once more. Maybe the glory days haven't passed for my favorite creature of all time. What do you think? Ha, 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 ha.